Hello again everyone, Sokka here and welcome back to another episode of Planet Zoo Career Mode in what will hopefully be the last episode we are here at the Mexican Conservation Park working on our gold medal. The last thing we have to do is adopt and place two new polar bears with a welfare of 85% and power everything in the zoo with renewable energy. And from the get-go, we were researching with our mechanique the alternative power. Uh, so you can see that we're about halfway on our way to solar panels. We already have the wind turbine unlocked. We can go ahead and start replacing our power grid with the wind turbine, perhaps. Ideally, we kind of want that solar panel. And one thing that I did notice... Ooh, underpriced tickets. Well, guess what? Welcome to uh, 20... No, not 37. We want $27 tickets. We'll increase it up by uh, $3, see if that goes away. They may want to pay 30 in fact. Uh, we're not hurting for cash by any stretch of the imagination. Yeah, it looks like they kind of want 30 So we'll do $30 per ticket. That is outstanding. Uh, because we're going to need all that money to build the polar bear exhibit. And we need two of them, and unfortunately they were not given to us in animal trading. Uh, so I, I like this area out here. It's nice and big, and the polar bears take up an entire city uh, in order to be happy. Disease is now life-threatening. We'll call a vet. Get them in there. Critical infection undiagnosed. Holy crap. Hang on there, birds, Baird's tape here. One thing that I noticed is we were not given the polar bear. Uh, so if we go down here to our polar bears, we can see that, yes, they do cost money. A. Hey, we will adopt for 14000 and 18000 All right. I was wondering, because we had to... Uh, if they were going to force us to use the conservation credits, that would be a very long wait. Luckily, we had the disposable income to purchase the two new polar bears. Uh, so what I'll do is I'll go ahead and place the polar bear exhibit, say, right over here. We'll get a nice big area, a nice big pond. And uh, unfortunately, that means that we have to... Hold on, can I? Just looking at the water reach. Okay, so we can we can sham this a little bit. If we make the enclosure out here and have part of the pool right here in this upper corner, we don't have to worry about re-replacing the water purification. We won't have to worry about putting down any more power. That is all well and good because we don't want to place more power down uh, than we need to because we need to start swapping all of this out for the wind turbine. All right, so let's see exactly how much space the polar bear needs. Uh, the state of Rhode Island, basically. Uh, yeah, the polar bear needs 64,500 feet of land and 21,500 feet of water with a grade 4 fence higher than 6.6 .6 feet. So we're going to need to uh, put a walkway over them uh, like we did in the last zoo. But that's not a requirement. As soon as they get put down and we make them 85% happy, uh, the people don't need to see them in, uh, in, in a perfect world. So I will go ahead and start getting that border put around here, uh, fence off a nice big area for them, and be right back. All right, polar bears are here, and uh, hopefully we've gotten enough land space for them. Yeah, it looks like just barely enough water. We do have plenty of space to uh, continue to build out if need be uh, whenever the second polar bear gets here. Uh, let's go ahead and continue to play and see if that adjusts uh, when the second polar bear comes. Uh, if it does adjust and we are a little bit short, which it looks like we are, uh, we'll go ahead and pause, uh, get the water out of here, and then uh, continue to flatten to foundation like right over here and make this entire corner water just sort of fill that out as best we can flatten to foundation is your best friend as soon as you get uh, an area that is flat enough below the water line it can really simplify matters a ton all right so that's obstructed that's obstructed that's valid hopefully that's enough water we'll see let it recalculate here. Yeah, there we go. 26 one. So that is enough water for the polar bear. And we were able to barely squeak out just the edge of this water inside the, uh, the water purification from this guy over here. So this entire lake will be purified, uh, ready to go. 
So now it's just a matter of getting rid of these trees that are in here that is making them unhappy. They actually don't need too many trees, uh, but we do need some hard shelter. So we'll go habitat, make sure that we are on our polar bear. So we can see everything that we've unlocked. Yeah, we've got plenty of uh, extra goodies for them, I think. Now we're going to need a bigger shelter than that. So how about uh, the big honking shelter back here? We'll place that right in the center. So that's 100% there. Sweet. So their average happiness is at 78. And we can adjust that by both the terrain and the enrichment. Way too much sand. We need a whole lot of snow. So it's just a matter of, of course, getting our coolers in and uh, getting this place nice and chilly. All right, coolers are down and spaced accordingly. Now it's just up to us to paint in all of the snow. Let's make sure this is the biggest size possible as uh, we are going to want to snow this thing right up. Holy carpal tunnel syndrome, Batman. We finally got all of this set for snow as soon as those coolers kick in. So that is all well and good. Uh, let's look and see what enrichment items we can give our polar bear. Uh, I think we actually have quite a bit. So we have a large snowball that's 100 out of 164. Uh, and there is 200 now for food. We want to get that bamboo feeder in and that is 12. Uh, we don't know any other feeder though. Uh, so we'll have to get in a large food tray because why not? And we'll uh, you know, see exactly how that goes. Hey, Bernie's happy. Incredible ambassadors for our cause. Just make sure they don't escape, as that would be quite the diplomatic incident. All right, water treatment requires repair. We'll get a few mechanics on those, but that is the polar bear sorted. So yeah, a pretty big area over here waiting for those coolers to kick in. The bear hopping in the water quick, fast, and in a hurry. I tell you, it just never ends this maintaining the zoo. But yeah, that is a big honking establishment right over here. Um, I don't know if I can continue this path on around. I started building the path around here. And we might be able to bridge across this little gap here too uneven well I mean we're, we're like right here right yeah we'll build some stairs cuz why not yeah we'll just send the path right on over here connect it back up to the zoo at large and I doubt the view is going to be too good from the polar bear, but we want to get these people back on the path because uh, making them walk a thousand miles out of the way is uh, pretty, pretty rad. Yeah, then we'll just come down this way. There we go. Hey, call that the, uh, the camel hump. The camel hump. Yeah, now we can see some gaps in our cooling, definitely. I tell you, it's a, uh, it's a very tall order for sure to make sure that everything is covered because those little uh, temperature area balls, you don't really see too much or you can't really plan the correct area of effect too awful well. Uh, so we've just got to sort of place them in the middle. Uh, hopefully the polar bear should be fine. And that is awesome. Vet research is done. I think we are working on a disease. Yeah, Clamptobacteriosis. Might as well keep researching that. So before we get on our very last thing, how is our mechanic doing on the power level? Uh, halfway to the solar panel? Not really the absolute greatest for sure. Yeah, those uh, coolers are starting to come online. Starting to get some of our snow back slowly and surely. That one should be next. There it goes. All right, so let's see where our power situations are sorted. And let's start to get them replaced with renewable energy. First one is this one right over here. All right, so hopefully we'll be able to, uh, to just squeeze those in. All right, facilities, we need ourselves some power and we need our wind turbine. Yeah, that'll nuzzle right in there. 
a like a so. All right, and then as I uh, suspected, that wind turbine is not going to be uh, so, so powerful. We're going to have to do some doubling up. Uh, once we get all of our transformers replaced, we'll see what happens. That may just work. Um, even though half the zoo will be without power, it may just, like, give it to me here. We'll take a look-see. All right, next transformer gone. Next wind turbine. Get that right in the... The space. Yeah, and once these generators are in, we'll have a better a better look at what exactly is affected by this. We may need to put in some uh, interim power supply in the middle. All right, there is the next one gone. And another wind turbine. Just get that right in the corner like so. All right, what is next? You over here? Sure. Slowly and surely, this will be the uh, the last thing that we do in our Planet Zoo career mode. Yeah, that's fine right there. All right, what is our next power source? So that is wind. That is powered, that is wind, that is wind, that is wind, that is wind, and that's a breaker right there. Okay. Let's go ahead and swap this one out. All right, I think that is everything. Even though we're missing large chunks of our zoo, we could probably get away. That looks like a path to me. Oh, this is the path. This whole honking thing is the path. Yeah, we could like put it maybe over here. Okay, then we'll need to put one kinda over here as well. We've got some shops that are lacking some power. Because it really don't matter if the guests see it. That's not what we're going for. We just need to power the zoo with renewable power. Let's see if that's good enough for government work. Power everything. All right, so that is going to be the, uh, the big ticker. Well, I mean, really, the only thing that we don't have powered is back here, it looks like, and that is simple to do. At least I thought. There we go. So that is running. Yeah, and that does look like, indeed, everything is powered with renewable energy. Come on, Bernie. Facility is without power. Oh, you scumbag. All right, so we can see right there the ATM is without power uh, just in the gap. I wonder if we could be cheeky. Move that ATM there and move this security. Oops. Move this ATM over here in the power zone. Move this security camera in the power zone. That way it's technically powered with renewable energy. All right, we need to move that ATM as well. All right, sounds good. We'll move that right there. Now you're powered. Anything else? I mean, we've got some disease risk. Keepers in route. Doll sheep, call the keeper. Grizz, call a keeper. I'm not getting an alert saying that something is without power. And I mean, everything is renewable, right? Let me take one hot look here. So that is renewable. That's renewable. That's renewable. Oh, is it counting these things? All right, can we? Move this security camera over right here.
Yeah, if anything. If it's without power, get rid of it. We don't need these lights. It's kind of kind of a cheat. Yeah, we got some lights over here as well. Sure. All right. Anything else without power? It's saying this is without power. But I mean, it's right next to the wind turbine, right? Actually, it looks like, yeah, it's an incomplete build. Can't delete it though. <laughs> oh, there we go. Nice. Technology, amazing. Here's us with our very own North Pole in the middle of Mexico, and it isn't using a single watt of non-renewables. Incredible. Oh, All right, so that's I know everything. How hard it was to get the zoo to this point, but trust me when I say it was worth the effort. Giving people the opportunity to see these magnificent animals up close, particularly those from the Arctic, makes them so vividly real that the guests can't help but empathize with them. Right. That connection is important because if we want to have any chance of saving these species, ensuring that they aren't just some distant legend for future generations, then everyone will have to do their part. These animals, these incredible, noble animals, they need our help. So, do you think you've done your part? Or is there perhaps yet more that you can do? Well, that's up to you, isn't it? Yes, it is. So, big ending from Bernie. That is Planet Zoo career mode done. All of the um, career mode things have been three-starred. Temperature. I mean, you should be in your right temperature range. Anyway, we have done it. Everything is awesome and not a bad zoo um, to start off with. We were definitely set up well, but I think that is going to be it for Planet Zoo entirely. It's been a year since I posted ep episode one of the Planet Zoo sandbox, and I've learned a crap ton uh, it might be fun to go back to my old sandbox zoo and fix all of the problems that I had while I didn't know really what I was doing. But uh, that will be up to you. If there is uh, something else you'd like me to play, let me know in the comments down below. But overall, it's been fun. Thank you for all your support. And thanks for tuning in so much over the past year and really boosting up the channel. It means a lot for sure. But that will do it for me. Like, share, and subscribe if you are so bold. Thank you so much for tuning in. And I hope to see you in the next series, whatever that may be. Take care.